have a new fridge, a refrigerator that works. Yes, indeed. Three's a charm. Three refrigerators later, this is the one I got. I'm so excited and I'll share everything that went on today. The good, the bad, the ugly, and the delicious because I have got a recipe for you that I made for Harry and I yesterday. Man, is it good. Oh, so yeah. come on, you guys. Let's get this day started. It's not good morning, it's good day, everybody. How is everybody doing? And welcome to Loving It on Keto. For those of you who are brand new, we bought a new refrigerator. Yes, we did. And, bought and it was delivered. And bought a new refrigerator. It was delivered day before yesterday. I got it, no, Monday. Oh. It was delivered Monday. The door was warped. It, they did everything to level it. They did everything they could, but the door was warped, like stuck out away from, you know, being flush the way it was supposed to be. So called them and talked to them, and they said they would send out a service person the next day, and they would put a new refrigerator as a replacement in case they couldn't fix it. Because we explained they worked really hard to try to do the leveling and the adjustment, right? They get here the next day and the service guys come and check it all off and the guy's looking at it and saying, no, you know, there's, it's the door. The door is worked and they said we can do. After they worked on it for an hour and every single person at Spencer's has been fabulous, by the way. Great customer service. Can't get mad at anything they said or did. Right, Harry? They tried very hard. So. Harry's falling asleep. They brought the other refrigerator off the truck opened it up, started getting it ready, and they called us outside and they said, I'm sorry, ma'am. He said, this door is worse than the door of the one you've got. He said, you can do one of two things. We can order your brand new door, take yours apart, brand new refrigerator, take it apart and fix it, or you can call the store and see if you can go down and exchange it for a different brand. So that's what we did. They put that, and I said, well, I'm really worried because I've got all this meat, I've got all this food, right? We've taken it in and out of Arvidas, refrigerator, left the meat there, bodega, igloo. So we went down to Spencer's and they were very happy. Now this refrigerator, I was torn between this LG and the, the um, Whirlpool. And this one's a little bit bigger, it's a little taller. So, and it was more expensive. So we got the other ones instead. Now that I'm looking at this, I love this refrigerator. And you guys, it's not a drawer, it's a side by side. Now, what I love about it is the space I have for my freezer. It's, it's much deeper. I don't have yeah, this. That's a third bigger than yeah. the old freezer. And the other one kind of had this weird thing here. I had my ice maker up here, so I've got another shelf. My ice maker's on the door. It, this is from the refrigerator that was the replacement of the replacement. So I've got some of my stuff that I've been using today, but it's still not quite cold enough. I love this refrigerator. I love the look of it. Yes, it sticks out a little bit further. That's because the handles that would have been here, it's come, it, you've got more room inside because you have no handles. And the handles are right here. And Wendy so, likes no handle things. I do. My cupboard. Look at the people, kitchen. People love handles. I don't. I don't. So, anyway, got my new fridge. We're going to put everything away eventually. I've only taken it in and out three times now and it frankly yeah, was tired, a very right? stressful day we're tired Harry's back we moved all the stuff we had here of course I've got more now not only that but Harry had to use a recumbent that's not the recumbent saw that's a miter saw what kind of saw is that anyway this refrigerator was a, a little bit a planer was too wide and it wouldn't fit so I said go get the saw so he went and got the saw we have to sand this a little bit, here, but I'm going to put this in right here with Harry sawing the opening so we can get this refrigerator in right here. What side are you going to cut the wood oh, off? Yeah, it looks like the left side, the side is cut. That's having an issue? So what did you have to do, dear? Uh, 
trim off the whole edge here, and, t and then I'll go ahead and get a. See this? Mm-hmm. It's too thick. You couldn't get this in, so I had to take off about a quarter inch all the way down. But you can see how uneven it is here. Yeah, we'll fix that. So I'll just put a quarter round on here, all the way down on both sides. So you know it. So I have sawdust everywhere. <laughs> but that's okay. I got my refrigerator in. Yes, check the doors, Harry. Please check the doors. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yay. Hey, actually closes. Yay. He's going to have to sand this. The guys were waiting. They were a little bit impatient because he had to saw it and do a whole bunch of plane it and chisel it and everything else because there's a vent on this side and it wouldn't go in because it's just a tad bigger yeah it's about a, about so, i'd say about a quarter of an inch larger it was stress and it's much taller much taller it's about probably the biggest refrigerator we could get yes, to fit in that hole that we've ever had yeah you guys it was very stressful when he had to start sawing and everything i'm just going please fit please fit please fit so, so what's going to make it fit harry harry was going to take a hammer to it i wasn't going to let anybody but, leave until it fit <clears throat> anyway we did not today was supposed to be a protein spray modified fast day it we fasted today we ended up leaving at four o'clock we went to the collins and we each had a ribeye steak and some cauliflower vegetables we didn't record it we did not record it we have been stressed to the max for the past three days and we just wanted to do that so we flipped days right i have our Drop the weight before the holidays November calendar and today is a protein spray modified fast day so we flipped it with our refuel day so tomorrow we're going to do this protein spray modified fast day yes we are and one of the things we did is we did check our <laughs> we checked the um, refrigerators thank you for the um, comment that said please check to make sure your magnets work because now they're making these without even real stainless steel you guys it's well stainless thing. steel doesn't take magnets. well it's the, it's the thing behind it it's the they, thing they, they do a metal uh a, a metal behind the stainless it's steel fake. anyway yeah it's fake so it works Whew. man yes it does that's ah, crazy and let me tell you this bodega right over here this bodega has been fabulous it's on 28. Yeah, everybody that comes Everything into the house wants to know wants to know where, where do you we get got this that. yes my igloo right now yep. it's a freezer yep the igloo which is over there that's had to come out every night we've had to fill and refill and refill and refill and refill I left most of my food food in the refrigerator of Arvita and in my ref freezer of Arvita. Thank goodness for Arvita, you guys, because we were full to the brim with meat. Absolutely full to the brim. Now, <laughs> everything you That's eat... That's nothing. You should see our freaking... Because, uh, you know, we're kind of preppers. Yes. You should see... <laughs> yeah. Our pantry. Anyways, it's nuts. Anyway, everything you eat or drink the day before, sometimes two days prior, stress, allergies, over-the-counter medicine, lack of sleep, all those things can have a direct effect on your weight. Yes, and not having a refrigerator and having to dig through things. Yes, they can. Harry redid the calendar. It's for November. We've got our August where we weighed. September, October, November. We weighed this on uh, October 30th. We did not weigh Halloween. So you guys were going down. We both went down a pound and our scale did not know what to do because we're so neck and no, neck. No, not down a pound. I mean up a, up pound. a pound. Pardon me. I'm looking up. I'm looking down, excuse me. I'm looking down at something Red is up. up. Okay, anyway. Green is down. Don't confuse me anymore, no. Anyway, Harry and I are neck and neck. We are on a race to the finish. The finish line is 165 pounds. Whoever can get there first gets something wonderful in their life. And even if the person that wins, the other person's going to be kind and generous and buy the other thing the other person wants. <laughs> anyway, right, Harry? Yeah, I got yes. it. Yes. Yeah, Say yes. You're right. You're right. Say yes. Yeah. 
Last night. I need my six thousand dollars worth of lenses. You guys, yeah. last night I was stressed. And here we did our keto chow. Harry was working on it, and I'm thinking, I want to make something sweet, but I don't want to do the whole bread, bread loaf thing. And I was looking through some old recipes of the cookies that I had been making during like the protein spraying modified fast a year ago and prior to that. And <clears throat> I didn't have chocolate because I've been eating my chocolate core like crazy, and my keto chow order hadn't come yet. So I made, <laughs> I made chocolate peanut butter, chocolate chip cookies. Oh man. And let me tell you, this recipe, so this recipe, you can eat half the recipe and call it dinner. I'm serious because it's phenomenal. It's delicious. It might be Danger Will Robinson for you. Danger Will Robinson. Danger. But I'm telling you, you can make this with any flavor keto chow and any flavor chips, right? And have yum deliumptious cookies in your life. Now, do we have chips? Oh, that's right. I didn't think about that. Oh, yes, we do. Yes, we do. Better have enough. Okay, so here's the deal. I'm gonna remake these cookies tonight because you guys, it, it's been very mentally challenging for me. When, he, when they put the refrigerator here and the guy could not get it in, you should have taken a picture of my face. You did not, the guy's like trying to do it, looking at me like, no, no, we're, 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 we're gonna get it in, honest. We're, we're, we're gonna know, get man, this in. Was he was wiggling it, looking at me, because I must have been shooting daggers at this guy going, this cannot, I said very quietly, I went, this cannot be happening right now. And the guy looked at me and he looked at Harry and he looked at me. No, 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 we're gonna, we're gonna, here, we're gonna, Harry goes, no, I'll go get the saw, I'll go get the saw. And I'm sitting there and the guy's like, no, I'll get it in, I'll get it in. And I'm like, this cannot be happening. No, it cannot. I mean, seriously, I had the men running everywhere because I just must have been shooting daggers. But let's get these that's cookies nice made because it. it is so easy, you guys. It's so easy. I'm gonna get a bowl because that's all you need, a bowl and a spoon. Bowl and a spoon and a stove and that an works. And an oven, yeah. And an oven, so come back in just a minute. I'll get this all set up to make chocolate peanut butter, chocolate chip, cookies that you can eat hot out of the oven and they're fudgy oh, and delicious man. or you can wait until they are done and they're 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 a little bit mm, crusty on the outside soft moist and delicious with pieces of moist. chocolate in there moist. moist and delicious so come back and i'll share you guys i got everything here basically you're going to need about one and a half bags or one and a half scoops of keto chow if you don't have keto chow if you can't get if you don't want to use keto chow use your favorite high protein powder if you can get chocolate peanut butter use it if you only can get chocolate use that if you only have vanilla use that and then use the chocolate flavor drops or the drops of your choice for flavoring that you want but i want this to be super chocolatey super delicious with that hint of peanut butter yes i do so those are my last peanut butter chocolate that I have in the house. I have to order more. Just no. when I thought I had, yes they are, that's it. Okay, no. so I'm gonna do all of my dry goods first. Keto chow, now I've got perfect keto chocolate collagen peptides. You can use Orgain, you can use uh, Perfect Keto, you can use Vital, you can use uh, any of the collagen. If you can get chocolate, that's better because you're adding the chocolate flavor. If you only can get vanilla, you know, add that. If you're making like the butterscotch and you're making cookies with that, get the salted caramel and use that. But I'm putting in a scoop right in there so you guys so far we've got our scoop of collagen right that you want to have every day you've got your keto chow yeah i'm very excited or now, your favorite that's right now here's the deal i have been using my black cocoa powder if you don't have black get dark chocolate right get the hershey's dark chocolate or whatever brand you like but i have this and i'm going to use it it's got this is what they make the oreo cookies out of which i love right it's 
full of flavor. So you want a tablespoon of that. So, you know, use what you have in your pantry. That's what I'm saying, because that's what I did. I looked at my, my recipe and I, I, I tweaked it based on some of the stuff I do now versus what I did back then. You need a teaspoon of baking powder. Let me make sure. Where's my baking powder? I know there's baking powder in here. Tablespoon of baking powder. Tablespoon of baking powder. Now, if you're using keto chow, it does have salt in it. Just do a pinch of salt. Use about a quarter of a teaspoon of salt. If yours does not have salt in it, then add some. If you're sensitive to salts and you don't care for the taste of salt, then don't use it. We look at this. Now I love cinnamon and I love cinnamon in my chocolate. I'm gonna put a quarter of a teaspoon in here. You do not have to put cinnamon in. If you're allergic to it or you can't have it or you don't like it, don't use it, right? Use if you're if you're doing if you're doing pumpkin cookies or gingerbread, use that in their seasoning that goes along with it. So that's a tablespoon of my seasoning. I'm going to put in a teaspoon of my gelatin. Long time ago I was using xanthan gum and everything. I've replaced it. I just really like my gelatin. Plus it's healthier for you. So I'm going to put that in. Trying to get all my dry goods. I've got golden monk fruit sweetener. You can use the Lancanto Gold. I'd be careful with the Swerve, the really soft stuff, because it's allulose, and allulose makes your cookies uh, softer and makes them like spread out. Well, I learned that a long time ago. So uh, you want to use a quarter of a cup of the golden. I like Lancanto Golden or the monk fruit erythritol blend, which is what this is. I got this on Amazon and it was a little bit better cost, right? More cost effective. There we go. And then I'm going to use, I have monk fruit erythritol blend confectioner sugar. I'm just going to put a tablespoon of it in my well, I didn't get quite enough there a tablespoon should be measuring it probably better but it's pretty pretty easy okay now Now I'm going to put the wet in as soon as I just stir this up. Just stir it up by hand. Don't need to do much. This is going to make a really thick batter, you guys. My uh, monk fruit your, uh, confectioner sugar's got some lumps in it. I'm telling you, I was hungry for the cookies and it... I wasn't measuring too well and it came out fabulous, oh, so yeah. I'm not worried really at all. It's very forgiving, right? It's very forgiving. Now, sweeteners and eggs. Egg whites. Third of a cup. Either raw eggs that you have or um, third of a cup. And I hope I have enough sour cream. Sour cream is what I had, and that's what I used, and it was fabulous. If you want to use yogurt, use yogurt, but I would use the really thick, plain Greek yogurt. If you don't like either one, somebody was asking me if, with one of my other recipes if they could use something else because they didn't like uh, sour cream. And I said, yes. 
um, can you use cottage cheese? Yes, just blend your cottage cheese. Man, this is gonna be like just enough. Matter of fact, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it in here and just get every ounce that's in my container out. I'm running out of everything. Poor Harry had to go out to Arvita twice last night because I was making the cookies. Poor me. Trying to figure out, and then he got mad at me, and I said, okay, you don't have to have any cookies. Just, just go ahead, sit down on the couch, don't help me at all, and I will eat the cookies. So he was very good about getting me what I needed. Yes, I from... probably went out and got what you needed. Yes. <laughs> He did, he was really good. Yes, he was. Okay, excuse me. Then I need a teaspoon of, let me move that out of the way. That was like, that bit the dust. Let me put this in over here. A blender cottage cheese so it's creamy. Um, and that would work. Two. Okay. I have a better stevia dark chocolate liquid sweetener. If you don't have this and you don't want to spend the money and you have stevia, Label, please. regular stevia, use that. And then use some Cranberry Farms chocolate, a squirt of this in there, right? Because you want this to be that delicious, dense flavor. Teaspoon. Then you got your vanilla. I hope I have enough left in here. This was made by Bluegrass Girl. Thank you so much for the rest of this. I've got some in the works. Which I'm very excited about that I made my own. Yes, I did. Let me put this in the... Um, over here. Then if you just wanted to add a squirt of the chocolate, you could, if you, especially if you're using like a vanilla um, collagen or an unflavored collagen or a vanilla uh, powder, you want to get that chocolate in there. You want that dense, rich chocolate, deep chocolate flavor, right? Let me look, let me look, let me look. Egg whites are cream vanilla extract, stevia drops, cocoa powder, perfect collagen, salt. Powder gelatin, monk fruit. Did I do a, yep. Confectioners, optional on the cinnamon. No sugar chocolate chips, but we're not gonna add those in until the very last step. And then you just, you guys, just take this and stir it up, stir it together. No need to beat it or mix it. It's gonna be thick, rich and delicious. If it's too thick and dry, you can add a little bit of egg white, right? There's no need to add water or cream or, you know, uh, any kind of milk substitute to this because you want this nice, thick, rich and delicious cookie dough batter. Trust me, you do because it is like fudge when it comes out. You, the cookies are going to be very soft, very soft. And the, the more they sit, then they firm up on the outside a little bit, right? And they get a little chewy top. Yeah, um, on the inside. Yeah. And then inside, they're nice yeah. and delicious fudginess. Oh, yeah, that's great. See? Look at this. Now, look at that. See that? Nice, thick dough. I mean, put that on there. Put this here. Before you add your chips, taste it. Make sure it's sweet enough and chocolatey enough or whatever flavor you're doing. When you cook it, though, it takes a lot of the mm, No, it doesn't. Out of it, don't you no. think so? Uh -uh. Didn't on the cookies last night? No, time? because there's... I don't... I didn't... You did you? It. I didn't check it, so... I didn't think so. Well, you sure licked the batter. Oh, well, yeah, that was You good. licked... <laughs> You licked the batter. Yep. Let me wash my finger. <sighs> now, chocolate chips. Let me think. Now that you said that, do I need to add more sugar? Taste I it. I did. Here. 
Do you want to taste it? Yeah. Okay. That's good, man. Just like that. Is it? Don't touch it. I won't. <laughs> I'm serious. Okay. So I'm going to add in a quarter of a cup of my chocolate chips. Just a quarter of a cup. Hope I have a quarter of a cup. You need to go to the store tomorrow. Yep. Quarter of a cup. Mm. Just stir that in with this. Fold it in. Well, Whole Foods has a Lancanto. It's just, it feels like brownie dough, you guys. It really does. And it tastes amazing. I could sit with a spoon oh, and just eat, eat this that. raw. No like problem. Danger. Danger, yeah. Will Robinson. Yes. Okay, here we go. But the good news is, did you guys see any fat in here other than the sour cream? Right? Third of a cup of sour cream. You get your keto chow, you get your collagen, you get some protein in there, and a little bit of the sweeteners. Yeah, so good. So good. So okay. good. So the batter doesn't spread that much. So, so good. So what, what I'm going to do today is I'll share. So good. It is. It's really good, you guys. Trust me. I mean, you have children, if you have to make make them something to eat, like uh, cookies or whatever, this is the recipe for you. Now, I've never made it with anything but keto chow, but I'm assuming you can use, you know, you might, you might want to, I'm just thinking of this, if you use somebody else's protein, high protein powder, if you have any acacia gum fiber, acacia gum or even maybe some bamboo fiber i would maybe put a teaspoon of that in there it's up to you but i think the way that keto chow is I, it's just the perfect medium so you just take a glob of your cookie dough and i just put it on my mat and you give it to your husband and, uh, and let me tell you so easy to bite this and eat this or whoever's near <laughs> because this dough is fabulous this dough is fabulous dough. It is really good dough. Okay, you guys, we'll come back when we've got the dough on the mat and we'll share because I want to push it down a little bit. Got 12 cookies right there. Yep. I'm going to put them in the oven. Uh, you can't really scoop these because they are so gooey. And they work really well this way. They really do. Put them in. We're taking them out in 15 minutes. They're going to be super duper soft. Then I'm going to eat them. <sighs> uh oh. Problems again. Let me order a new one. She keeps having problems with this one. It's gotten old. She's used it so much. She wore it out. Oh my gosh. Timer. Thank you. Okay. I don't know what I did. Clear. Mode. Mode. I push it too fast. Sorry, I push it too fast. Operator error. Come back in 15 minutes. You pull them out, you let them sit. I pull the mat off the pan so they quit cooking for about five minutes because they are super soft. They're super soft. Then you want to gently take them off and put them on the cooling rack and let them rest. And if you have sure, no problem. Warm, I'll let them rest. it is gooey and chocolatey and delicious and let them cool all the way down. Then you get this nice, a little chew, like a brownie topping, the chew 
around the cookie and that soft inside. Oh man, you guys, man, oh man. So you guys come back when we've got chocolate peanut butter, chocolate chip cookies, Wendy style. Yes, indeed. Yeah, I'll let them rest. Yes, you will. Yeah. These are very soft. Don't think they're not done just because they are super duper soft. Because they are done. Ooh, you guys, look at those delicious cookies. Yes, they are. Now we're going to let them sit for at least five, five minutes before we remove them and put them over to the pan, the cooling rack. I'm going to take this. <sighs> hot, hot. Okay, we're going to let this cool down. Harry and Marty are going to be good and they're not going to have a cookie before they're ready. No siree. So just let those rest. I'm telling you guys, if you were to have that right now, it would be the most ooey gooey, fudgy deliciousness oh, that you've ever had. I'm telling you, but they are very, they're soft. So we need to let them rest. Let them rest. Yes, indeed. You know, in the summertime, you can just take those outside and set them outside in the sun. They'll cook out in the sun. Yeah. Anyway, you guys, we'll come back because Harry gets six and I get six. <laughs> I know that sounds weird, but I'm telling you, it's a meal. Yeah. Other than the sugar part, the, the sweeteners, you're getting your collagen, you're getting your keto chow, you're getting one-third your vitamins and minerals, you're getting the one-third cup of the sour cream that gives you just enough fats for your fat-soluble vitamins, and it's heaven, and it's delicious, and you're getting some chocolate chips on top. Yes, yes indeed. I'm on the cookie diet. <laughs> we'll come back in the next segment when Harry does a taste test for everybody. Yes, indeed. There. Let me stop this. Okay. There you go. You guys, Harry's like, I want one warm. I want one warm. I want to do a taste test with yes. one warm. So, you guys, he's going to show you. Listen to what I want you to do, Harry, before you put it in your mouth, honey. Ugh. You have to break it and show everybody. I'm going to come out close. I want you to show them what it's like on the inside. I want you to smell it and tell them what it tastes and smells like, not stuff. Man, you guys, I'm telling you. He just wants to eat the cookie. Does it matter which one I take? Nope, you pick. The biggest cookie. Biggest cookie on the block. Pick the biggest one. Now, they've man. only been cooling down for about five minutes. Yeah, but they're so fine. So, I want you to open it and show everybody. Break it towards the camera. Ooh, can you see yeah. that? Yeah. Okay. What does it smell like, Harry? Like chocolate. Okay, go ahead and have your cookie. Mm. Taste it. Is it as good as last night? Mm-hmm. So I got the recipe right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm. So chocolatey. It's like chocolate. Yeah, that's where you go. But they can make a lemon one. They can make a butterscotch one. They can make a chocolate topping mm. one. They can make raspberry. I, I take it you're really loving the cookies. Mm. Show the inside of that cookie. Inside of yeah. the cookie. Break it. Oh yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Over here. I know. If you're new to my channel, you would know that I think chocolate baked goods taste like dirt to me in my mouth. Yeah, she I am not really a chocolate weird. person. Her dad was the same way. My dad was the same way, but these taste like real chocolate. The challenge with chocolate cake mixes and chocolate pastries is they don't have enough chocolate in them. And adding that 
You can't have any. I gotta give her one of these because seriously, I had to get her. She's she's not gonna be quiet and she can't have chocolate. So she's gonna be out of puppy luck. On your mark, get set, go. Quick, hurry, come back to me before she gets done. Hurry. So I love these. I love these, you guys. These are like little, little heavenly deliciousness. Right now, they're like really? brownie. See? Aren't they good? Mm. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. Come on, she's gonna be back in a second. She comes. She's back. They get more flavor and more cookie chew the longer they sit on the count oh, yeah. ca counter. Oh, right. Right? They're a little softer in the middle, so they're not the crunchy hard cookies. If you're a hard crunchy cookie person, Try it with regular protein powder without any of the fiber that's in this and I bet you you'll get a crunchy cookie. You'll get a different texture. It'll taste probably delicious, but you guys, these are heavenly and they're healthy and they're good and they're keto. They've got your collagen, they've got your keto chow, they've got one third your vitamin. And she really wants one. So I'm gonna go ahead and close out for tonight. Yes, indeed I am. Come here, come here, come here, come here. No, no, don't be nasty. Come here. I know. Yeah, I know. She really wants one. She says, yes, I do. But we're going to say goodnight now. Oh, look, at there they are. I see them. <laughs> <laughs> Can I have a please? I know, honey. I'm sorry. You can't have chocolate. Anyway, you guys, please remember to like, subscribe, ring that little bell, give us a thumbs up. Sorry this is short and sweet. Don't forget, if you have not done so already, go to the video that Harry's gonna put up at the end and enter to win the My Chow Surprise Club box for November. If you live in the United States of America and Canada, we're gonna have that winner drawn on the 6th in a few days, so don't forget. Anyway, you guys, see you tomorrow. Sally wants to say goodnight. Say goodnight. You get another one, you get double dip. Where did I put yours? There it is. Yeah, she was so good. She stayed in her buggy while the guys were coming in and out with refrigerators for three days. She did not know what they were doing. Your mark, take it. Zoom. Oh, okay, you guys. Tomorrow, manana, we're going to be back on track. Hopefully. Yes, we are. Maybe. Hopefully. Unless something else happens. Something oh, else? I do have an appointment tomorrow. That's I right. gotta go you to got the doctor. Tomorrow, so, yes, uh, I do. Don't say that. Okay, All there right. you go. Goodbye. Bye. I get my cookie now. It's so good. Oh my gosh. Mm. Mm. I need you, cookie. Mm. So good.